Do the things that break God's heart break our heart? Do the things that break God's heart break our heart? Because that's key. That's so important for us. If we're going to see God rebuild the walls, I I feel like there's so many of us that have been desensitized to the culture around us. There's so many of us that have become so numb to the reality of our current situation that it doesn't break our heart. Some of us who are struggling in our relationships or, or in our families, we've just accepted the fact and it's just like, well, this is just how it goes. This is, this is what ends up happening in every family. This is what ends up happening in every marriage. And it's like we just accept the fact instead of going, no, there's something not right here. Or maybe some of us, like, we've been struggling with compromise and sin. It's just like, oh, it's okay. I'm, I'm not perfect. And we become so numb to what breaks God's heart. And Nehemiah wasn't numb to the reality of these broken walls, and, and, and he knew that seeing these walls broken, that God seeing these walls broken, broke his heart, and so therefore he was gripped with compassion. He was gripped with a brokenness that came from God. My question is for us, are we gripped by brokenness? How do we respond to the brokenness that we see in our families, and in our lives, in our neighbors' lives, and in, in our culture? How do we respond when we hear about the news and, and we, we hear about injustice and, and division and, and, and we hear about suicide and sex trafficking? How do we respond to these things? Have we grown so cold that it doesn't break our heart? 